Hey, what's up, YouTube? TFGuy86 here with another Transformers review. Today I'll be reviewing Transformers Cybertron Scrap Metal. Uh, scrap Metal is some kind of walking tank drone vehicle thing, in my opinion, because uh, that's just what it looks like to me. Got a giant cannon right here. He's got a little cockpit right there. Uh, got little legs that he walks around on. And uh, he's really cool, really neat. I love the design of this figure. Um, you know, Cybertron's from when I was a kid. So, uh, this is actually a figure I do remember uh, from back in the day. <laughs> he's got a, a little kind of bumblebee-looking color scheme with the yellow and black and gray. But, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it, it fits him really well, especially in his robot mode. So, uh, being that he is Cybertron, he does have a planet key gimmick, and uh, here is his planet key as the Decepticon planet key. Um, if you guys can see that, a lot of nice molded in detail on the key. Uh, a bunch of like gears and just other cool molded in detailing. Um, just the regular Decepticon key, he doesn't have like an Earth key or a Jungle key or s Speed key. Uh, I don't remember the last one, but I, I remember those few. <laughs> So I plug it in back here, and he gets a little flip-out sword, and I think that's really cool. Um, the sword is removable. I'll, I'll take it out in robot mode to show you because it doesn't really do anything in this mode. Um, I kind of like the sword because some guys like coming, coming from like the left or the right and just swing it and chop them. I think it's kind of cool. Um, as you saw, the turret does rotate. Rotates 360. And I like it. I think it's really cool. It's got a neat little barrel right there. It's got some nice paint apps right there. Cool molded in detailing all around it. So, uh, let's begin the transformation. First thing you want to do is you want to fold these arms, or what will become the arms, um, out. You want to fold them, basically kind of flip them over like that. Spin them. Just make, uh, one less step in transformation and then bring them out like that take this swing it around fold it down straighten that out um, you can go ahead and face the cannon out right now and now there's a slot there if you guys see that and there's tabs right here and you wanna plug those in um, it can be a little tricky, but once you get it, it'll lock in, into place. Uh, and they're not really that hard to tab in, like you just saw. They just slide right in there. Then go over here. You want to split these legs out. want to fold up the cockpit. Fold it down. And there's your head reveal. And you want to peg the legs together, or kind of like the whole crotch piece together. Straighten his legs, and flip them out, flip that down. And here you have scrap metal. And uh, as you can see, he has some great light piping. Look at the, the eyes just glowing right there. Kind of reminds me of Dark of the Moon Shockwave, how just this little bit of, uh, little bit of light would just light up his whole, you know, eyeball. And uh, I think that looks cool. That's one of the main reasons why I do love this figure. Because uh, when he's sitting on my shelf, even in like low light, the eyes just glow. And uh, it looks really cool. It kind of makes him look like he's almost alive. And uh, so here he is. As you see, the cannon does stick out <laughs> quite a bit. So it's a little profile view. The cannon's about the size of him. <laughs> um, over here, he's got his little stinger weapons. Um, those are neat, and that's kind of like, that's why I like the black and yellow scheme on him, because it, 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 you know, they're stingers, and bees have stingers, so uh, kind of fits in my head. <laughs> and if you don't like the stingers, you can flip them for some pile drivers, and uh, I think that's cool. That's a little homage to Frenzy and Rumble. Um, I think that's actually who the character was modeled after, because I know there was more colors. I know there was a red one and a blue one. And uh, I think those were actually the Frenzy and Rumble um, modeled characters. And he, like a repaint, but I like him. So if you don't want the weapons, you can go ahead and flip him up. 
to reveal his fists. And uh, looks really nice. Although these do create some kind of kibble on the arm. Um, you know, it doesn't have like a backpack or anything. So, I don't mind it. It's a scout class figure. So it's okay for me. And now, you can take his planet key. Plug it in there. And you can remove the sword. Um, unfortunately, the cannon will not flip back up without the sword in it. Because the sword is what locks it in place up here. But you can go ahead and take the sword. Here it is. If I can focus on it. See? Nice little clear plastic sword. Oh, there we go. Uh, I think that's the best I can get on it. But it's got some ridges right there. You guys can kind of see. It's got a couple of ridges and uh, some molded in detailing on him. You can go ahead and stick it in Scrap Metal's hand. It'll fit. It's a tight fit sometimes. Yeah. Now he's got a little sword. And I think that looks really cool. I do love Transformers with swords. Um, so I think that looks really nice. He's got a little sword. Um, very evil and menacing looking. Just go ahead and plug the key back in there so I don't lose it. Um... I do love this figure. I really do recommend him. He's a lot of fun. Um, not too pricey. You got him for about 20 bucks on eBay. A little bit less than 20 actually. So um, that's usually what it goes for. 20 bucks eBay. I checked TF Source and all that and they were selling him for 20 bucks too. So um, it's cheap if you want to pick him up. Um, I definitely do not regret it. Uh, I think it was a good price because I gotten a lot of play value out of this guy lately. Just messing around with him all the time. Um, he's really awesome. Do Search him up after this video. I'm being dead serious. Just search him up. He's awesome. Um, I do want to take the time right now to give a shout out to Piaw here on YouTube. Um, when I originally received the figure, he had two of the same arms. And uh, I had sent a message on Twitter to Piaw, you know, like, um, you know, how to fix the problem. And he said, uh, you know, I'll just send you the arm from my scrap metal. And uh, I do want to say thank you very much for that. I know you've heard it from me a thousand times. But, um, you know, PL, you know, it's really nice of you to do that. I really do appreciate that. Um, and if you guys don't already watch his videos, I will put a, I'll put a link to uh, PL's channel up here somewhere on the screen. Um, once again, thank you, PL. You rock. You're awesome. Um, love your reviews. So uh, go check out PL while you guys are at it. Um, as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.